So I've shown you guys two of the new key bosses that they added with this test realm and there's two more. So this is the third one. It is in Wisteria and Tanglewood Way. And I feel like I showed the two easier and in my opinion, more fun bosses first with the lore master fight. And of course the Medusa fight, that one was really fun, but look at this little entrance area that they have here. I thought it was kind of neat. It has like these little rooms, even though there's nothing in it, but I just thought it was fun. And then you just go up the stairs and that's where the, the key is. So this is the Wisteria fight. And I would say this one is my least favorite of the four new gold key bosses. This guy, Baron Von Bracken, has 2 million health for absolutely no reason. Like, he has 2 million health just because King Zhao doesn't want this fight to end quickly. And what's funny about this is Terra just cast faint and he used this cheat cast where he hits you. And that's honestly the only cheat that I can think of for this fight. I don't know if there's any other cheats. If there are, they aren't that crazy and you don't really have to worry about them because this fight is basically just do 2 million damage in order to kill the boss and that's it he has minions so of course you can't really just blade up forever and then only hit the boss because you have to kill these life minions that are just gonna keep hitting you every turn this was actually my first attempt of this fight so what you're seeing is my first attempt there's no late cheat so you can flee and come back as many times as you want you know put more things in your deck which I ended up doing a lot. But I just have my normal deck on that I use to kind of, you know, as a basic seven spell deck. I think I have like Tempest, Stormlord, Bugs, a couple Blades, that's it. So I just initially hit with Stormlord because I want to kill the minions. You always want to kill minions just to see what happens if the boss like does something special after you deal damage after you kill all his minions see what happens I was like maybe it's a maybe it's a fluke maybe you actually don't have to do two million and he'll say something that reduces his health or I don't know like something special but that doesn't really happen here what happens is he says you have to strike me harder and then he just heals back everything so you have to hit over a certain amount what I found out later is you don't have to one shot him, but you have to deal a lot of damage in one hit. I don't know what the threshold is for that, but it has to be a lot. So I'm going to be skipping around. I know this video is shorter than some of the other ones. I mean, maybe it was, uh, it's about as long as the last video that I did, but this fight took me, I think like 40 minutes or so if I were to just not cut anything out i'm not gonna post a 40 minute video because i will i would never want to sit here and commentate a 40 minute video of something like this that would be so boring i've cut out so much because a lot of it's just me testing things and just blading up to do 2 million damage you basically have to go for like those one in a million setups that we used to do back when the only reason to hit a million was for the badge so this time you're going to do the same thing, but you need even more because you have to hit 2 million or at least get pretty close. So I, I'm honestly surprised that I haven't even uh, decided to flee yet. I think I might have to. Maybe I'm just going for like one more extra hit just to see how much it does. Maybe I'm going to do bugs or something. But yeah, I definitely flee and come back and put in like everything needed in order to actually do 2 million. I was just surprised that it was even necessary to have a fight like this because <laughs> who wants to go into a fight and hit a boss for that much? It's guaranteed going to take a decent amount of time. Sure, maybe people will find a strat to like do it in as few rounds as possible. That's fine. But compared to the other fights, actually, maybe I just die here and that's why I flee. That's probably what happens. 
But as far as the other fights go, this one I'm not seeing as being that creative and unique. It's just like deal a bunch. Yeah, see, I die there. It's just like deal a bunch of damage because the boss has a bunch of health. So I flee and come back. I put in some actual hits for dealing a ton of damage. I put in Scion. I've got Storm Owl. I think I even put in Supercharge because you're going to need Supercharge in order to do this kind of damage, at least on a Storm. So I ended up going for a Max Pip Supercharge. I have Terra put on three different feints. And honestly, we could have done more feints than that. We should have. So my plan was Supercharge, three feints, as many blades as possible. I think Terra has a decent amount of traps elemental traps that kind of thing and just normal one in a million strat we didn't do the convert from like you know storm to myth where you can do elemental traps convert it spirit traps that would have been a good solution to actually getting the extra damage that you need to get to two million but i mean honestly if we had more feints this probably would have been little bit easier but he's hitting with death spells like the whole time he uses cthulhu a lot uses scarecrow so we are getting hit a decent amount i'm not sure if i died again no i don't think i died again before this because i had Terra put up sanctuary and she is healing but this is when we go ahead and hit i've got shrike frenzy we're using scion unfortunately scion is not gonna be double damage here because he has so many blades but still this is like i think this is the most damage that i can do maybe storm out would have been more i forget what the base of scion is without it being doubled but regardless still gonna do a lot there's the supercharge good amount of blades i didn't put up the storm bubble we could have done that but again, this was kind of just thrown together at whatever we had on our characters, whatever spells we had, whatever TCs we had, we just kind of went with. So yeah, not doubled. And it ends up doing about 1.5 million. So 1.5 million. Luckily, he doesn't do the cheat where he says, you have to strike me harder. So he doesn't heal it back. The only bad thing is... He still has 500,000 health. And guess what? You have to just re-hit. So we are definitely going to flee and come back. And here is my next hit. Honestly, exact same thing. Like, I don't remember if this hit was more than last time. Probably not because I knew I only needed to do 500. But same thing. Using Scion. Not going to get double damage. Because, also the annoying thing is, I was going to Enfeeble him, but Enfeeble doesn't remove every blade. So, that change is really annoying. So, I can't even Enfeeble off all of his blades. But yeah, here is the final hit. And, yeah, that's the fight. Like, not much to say about this one. Everyone knows how to go for one in a million. And, preferably, you know... Do 2 million damage and then that's it. Yeah, I, I do like the same amount. I do 1.5 again. I actually did 3 million damage. But yeah, I recommend just going, killing the minions first or second turn, whatever. And then uh, going for the big hit. Do 2 million after that. So Pigsy does drop here. So you have to farm this guy if you want Pigsy Spellments. That's going to be a struggle. But if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like on it. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next time.